Hey guys, what's up? Today is a very special day here on YouTube, at least for me. It's a very special day for me. It is my 6,600, and I, I don't have six fingers on one hand. I'm sorry, just pretend this is six. 6,666 6, subscriber special. Uh, it's going to be very fun. Uh, I was originally going to do a top 10 for this video, but... Uh, yeah, I figured that'd take a little bit too long, so decided to substitute in for this a gaming room. Well, not really a gaming tour, gaming room tour, but uh, I guess sort of. It's going to be more of a streaming slash recording setup that I use here on my YouTube and Twitch channels. So uh, this is the room, uh, the main room at least. There's more than one, but... Uh, I'm going to be showing you all the ins and outs of everything here, and uh, it's going to be a fun video, so let's get into it. So I guess I'll take it from the start here. Uh, you walk into the room, uh, this is basically what you see. Uh, this is the front of the room, you have the light, <laughs> a stack of Switch games, some other stuff over here. Uh, here's the couch that I sit on usually. Uh, it's right over here. It's a little off center from the TV, but nothing I can really do about that. There's too much stuff here anyway. So you sit here, um, and it's not directly across, but the TV is over here. Uh, this is the TV. This is a Sony Bravia. Yeah, Bravia. This is an older, not really old TV, but it's about uh, 10 years old or so, uh, 9, 10 years old, it still does full HD 1080p, so, you know, I'm happy with it, works well enough, as well as, I think here I have Wii U gamepads, memory cards, sensor bar, I don't really use my Wii or Wii U at all, so it's kind of useless, Wii remotes, um, other stuff like that. Uh, this is my computer. This is an HP ProBook. I don't remember the exact model. Um, but I'll get more into that in a bit. Uh, this is the couch, of course. Front view. It's probably really dark. The photos on the wall, you've probably seen these. I actually don't really know what any of this is supposed to mean. What any of this is supposed to represent, it just it's all there. I didn't put any of it there, but yeah, this is the room. Uh, I guess I'll go into my capture cards now. So I have two of them, two capture cards I use. Uh, here's one I use a lot. Uh, this is my Dazzle. This is a Dazzle DVC 100. Uh, this is a standard definition uh, capture card. It's for component, composite, S video. Uh, I usually use composite with it. Wait, this is a one. Yeah, Dazzle DVC 100. Um, yeah, so I have that as well as all the splitters for it. You need three of them. You know, uh, one cable is coming from the system, and the other cable goes to your TV. So just the back of the TV over here is where that would go. And you, of course, need one of these matching ends. Stuff like that. So that's my Dazzle. That's for older systems, you know, GameCube and older. Uh, here's my HD capture card, high definition. This is an Elgato HD60. Um, this is not the S model, sadly. Uh, I don't know. The S model actually wasn't even made when I got this. But this is about $200 brand new. It's probably under 100 now. I think it actually is. Uh, I also don't even have a powerful enough PC for 
the HD60S. So this one's right on par with my computer. An i5 processor is what you need, and that's exactly what I have. So this is what I have. Um, Resolution-wise, this is full HD, 1080p, 60 FPS. The Dazzle, though, I'm pretty sure this is 360p, and I think it's just under 30 FPS, like 29.97 or something, I think is the actual um, stats to that. I'm not exactly sure, but it works fine for older games, but uh, for newer stuff, not so much. Like all my, my Wii U, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, stuff like that, that all goes to Elgato, but like... Nintendo 64, GameCube, Super Nintendo, use my Dazzle for that. So those are my capture cards. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, microphone. So you might be surprised, I actually don't have a microphone. But uh, what I do have here is a Logitech headset. Uh, works pretty well, it's obviously got the headset mic. Uh, I can use this as a pair of headphones, you know, way to listen to my game, but... Uh, I don't do that. I just listen to my game out of my TV. And I have the box here. This is the Logitech H390. So it's a pretty good headset. Um, if you're looking for a cheap headset, but a reliable one, this is definitely a good choice. Um, has one of these little remote pieces where you can click this button to mute your mic. And sorry, my hair kind of falls into the camera, but you can turn your odd, your commentary on or off as you please. And then the USB on the end. Uh, that's that. Uh, what else is there to show? Um, oh yeah, uh, for 3DS stuff, I actually have... Okay, so for 3DS stuff, this is my actual 3DS right here. Uh, this is the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Uh, it's very cool. This is the Hyrule Golden Edition. It's got the Triforce, all that cool stuff on it. I love this design personally. I think it looks amazing. Zelda's probably like my second favorite Nintendo franchise. Maybe first. So when a Zelda 3DS came out, I just <laughs> I had to have it, you know. And it uh, works pretty well. Basically how I record is there's this kind of uh, hack, this mod that you can use called NT, NTS, something like that. I, I forget. But uh, you basically, it just streams video footage from 3DS to your PC. And I just capture the KitKat window. The software is called KitKat. I just capture that window with OBS. Capture both screens, move them apart, and put it into my overlay. I can record a good amount of 3DS games. Sadly, not DS games. They don't work since you do need an internet connection. And you lose that connection instantly when loading up a 3DS game. <clears throat> Which really sucks, but you can't really do anything about that, so... Unfortunate. And of course, the uh, footage is silent, so you do need... A uh, AUX cable, obviously double sided, and uh, that'll work for audio. One goes into one end, goes the 3DS. You lose audio from your 3DS instantly, but your viewers get it. I just leave some music going in the background for myself, and that's that. So it's my 3DS. Um, I don't know, I don't use it too much, mostly just for Mario Kart, but. If I do decide to do some 3D SLPs in the future, I'll be using that. Okay, one last thing to show off before I get to all my software. Uh, right here is what I use as a face cam here on my streams. Uh, it's literally just a office style webcam. Attached to a tripod with a pair of pliers here. Um, there's a label on the end of this. I can probably see... Um, yes, here it is. Okay, it's a Microsoft, um, Focus, Focus, ah, 
This is a Microsoft LifeCam VX5000. I'm pretty sure this thing is probably over a decade old. <laughs> probably not very, well, it's definitely not very great at all. Can you focus, please? Jesus Christ, focus. Thank you. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, I know my dad bought that at, like, Goodwill over probably about half a decade ago, I think he said. And it already looked to be pretty old to him when he got it, so... Uh, and it was only like $6 anyway, so it's a pretty cheap webcam, but uh, uh, it works well enough. You can at least see my face, see my reactions to stuff in games. And uh, I think it works well enough for what it does. And it just sits here looking at me while I'm on the couch and the stream's running. So that's pretty cool. And that's really all there is for that. So I guess now all that's left is to show off what software I use. Well, actually, no. There is one more thing I can actually show off before that. Uh, I guess I can actually show you where my router is. You might be asking, where the hell is that? You know, if you, if you know me, my internet's pretty bad, so... <clears throat> Uh, I do have an Ethernet cable that runs from the basement where the router is up through some holes that I drilled in the wall and then it just runs up to here to my computer or to a console, you know, whatever. I'm actually just going to take you there right now. I'll show you how far it is just to give you a good idea. So basically you just walk through the kitchen and it's actually downstairs like I said so okay the lights are on you just walk down here and um yeah this is the basement this is the downstairs of my house and I'll show you my router it's right up here this is a Belkin router yes I know very cheap router most likely. Uh, it still has the instruction thing on it. Uh, damn, this thing's hot. Uh, this is not a wireless router. This is the power cord right there on the bottom. Um, obviously have, this is the ethernet, this braided cable is what I use for PC console stuff. I ran out of footage there for a second, so sorry about that. Don't remember what I was saying, but yes, that is the router. It's over 10 years old. I know that for a fact. Uh, it works okay, but we definitely need an upgrade at some point. And then over here is our modem. It's a UB modem. It's pretty new, actually. I think this is like three years old or so. Uh, or at least I like to think it is. I, it might be a lot older for all I know. But I'm pretty sure this is only a couple years old, so the modem's relatively new, but uh, not the router. The router is very much ancient. It's better than the dial-up we had before that, but uh, in general, it's pretty bad. But um, it's that. I guess before I go back and show you all my software, one last thing right over here. This, ladies and gentlemen, was our old game room. I should probably turn on another light. Um, here we are. So this is the former game room. Same old TV I used to use. Uh, it's got the pinball table. We have another one of these upstairs. I would sit here, have my computer over here. Uh, haven't had a desktop in a long time, but I'm thinking of upgrading whenever I get my new PC. I might actually get a desktop. Uh, my old computer is still in here. It's this one right here. Uh, very old computer. I think that's like 20 or 30 years old. Uh, but it worked for me as a child, so... Worked. Uh, I didn't do too much on it other than just randomly mess around on the internet. And uh, that was that. But uh, I'm a f I think that's about all there is to see here. So I'm going to go back upstairs and show you all my software. Alright, so here's my PC. Uh, 
Yeah, this thing looks like it should be on life support at this point. Uh, which just missing a frame here, but some stuff has happened to it. This little hinge kind of detached from this while we were going to get this fixed, and we never got it fixed. It's been like this for over a year. Uh, it's been getting dirtier and dirtier. I've been doing my best to keep up cleaning off the keyboards and stuff, but only so much I can do. I'll show off uh, OBS here, which is why I used to stream. I tried out Streamlabs OBS, but uh, it's terrible. It drops so many frames. It was awful. Uh, this is my normal streaming software, OBS Studio. Uh, I have all my overlays here. You know, I got like my view counter here. This is for Elgato streams, so the game would be in here somewhere. Um, then for 3DS, you have one screen right here, the bottom screen here, the chat up here. Obviously the chat for my streams would be over here, Elgato, and then Dazzle, same thing, right over here. Game would be in here. I also record videos, this is my Dazzle layout. There's supposed to be a black window in here, but I don't have my capture card hooked up. But I do use OBS to record videos only for my only with my dazzle go to my resolution settings for my streaming uh, sadly I can only really do up to 360p at the moment uh, 360p 25 frames a second is all I can really handle sadly <laughs> uh, I know that's really bad but anything higher than that I even tried 30 FPS and I would at some points during the stream, start dropping frames, or will it actually be pretty consistent, like throughout the entire stream? But with 25, I'm usually pretty good. I'll start dropping frames randomly at some points, uh, but it's nothing too consistent, so that's good. Uh, it works fine for videos, I never have any issues. I uh, usually up this to 30 FPS for videos, but it stays at 360 because that's all my Dazzle can really record at. Um, there's a webcam here, and wow, that is bad. Uh, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Throwback Thursday, I'm not really sure if I'm going to even keep doing these, but, you know. Vote for the game, there you go, and then a random black card for no reason. <laughs> Just kind of sitting there. So that's my OBS uh, in a nutshell. Uh, this is my BRB screen. Be right back. Uh, stuff. If you've been to my streams, you know this is what you usually see. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, this is my Discord server. If anybody would like to join this, you can find a join link uh, somewhere on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can just find that, I think, in the About section on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can probably find this. I also don't tend to use my mouse here because uh, usually just for scrolling purposes because the table texture isn't really favorable for a mouse, <laughs> sadly. But uh, yeah, that's the that's basically that. Um, not much else to really show you. Uh, oh, I'll show you my Elgato here. Uh, <clears throat> So I'll just go full screen on this. This is Elgato software. This will work, I think, even with the HD60S, but even for the original 360, I can mess with the game audio, the commentary. Um, you know, the game audio, I can turn it up or down. This I used to use for live streaming. This is terrible for live streaming. Never use it for, for streaming unless you just want the straight up game window, no face cam or anything. Uh, but there it is, there's the record button, stream, don't use that. Commentary to turn everything on. And uh, that's really it. I mean, the software works great, my Elgato works great. OBS gives me a lot of problems with my Elgato, but if I'm recording a video, it's all fine. It's all good even recording a dazzle video with OBS is 100% fine uh, like I said my Elgato can go 1080p 60 FPS so full HD 
Uh, no frame dips or anything, unless there's something wrong with my computer, in which it'd be pretty obvious before I even start recording. And I'd probably just reset everything. So it's really just pretty much perfect. Um, nothing to really complain about. Uh, no complaints for me, at least. Uh, that's really that. Uh, can't think of anything else. Uh, editing tools. Depends on what I'm doing. I either use Vegas Pro 15, uh, the free version of it that I have for my HD videos. If I'm doing a Dazzle video, I usually edit that with Windows Movie Maker. I know that's kind of like scab software, but it works perfectly fine for my Dazzle videos. Any editing I have to do, it's really minimal usually. <laughs> Maybe just cutting a certain part out or just upscaling a video to 720 or 1080p. Just so it, I guess, looks better, hopefully. <laughs> or just doesn't get downscaled by YouTube because they do that sometimes. Lower resolutions. And that's really that. Um, there's not much else to really go over. Uh, obviously, you go to upload a video. Um, I can get out of here go here you just click uh, upload video up here you can upload a video it's pretty straightforward really you just drag your file into here put the title put the tags put your description in and that's that I always upload a video here before I'm streaming and then there's obviously my twitch channel if I go to my twitch <clears throat> Uh, it's right here, and there's my offline banner. I was doing a wave race stream earlier tonight. Uh, it's a pretty chill stream, not many people were really there, but uh, yeah, this is my Twitch. I would just go live, I would just hit go live in OBS. Eventually, you'd see my face here. Uh, that's pretty much that. And of course, in OBS, up here in the corners where my face cam would usually be, up here. Uh, my 3DS layout, I don't use a face cam for that because there's really no place to put it. So that's just kind of ruled out. Dazzle, it goes right up in here. Even in the game only layout, which I usually don't use unless it's a celebration for something. Then the face cam just goes up into here and then the game goes here, whether it be Elgato, Dazzle whatever that's how that works and I know I probably could have used a screen cap to show all this but with my computer that usually doesn't work too well I know CPU usage we're at 0.7 right now when I use my Elgato it goes up into the 20s 30s sometimes even 40s <laughs> so that is definitely probably a good root cause for all the issues I have but there's not much I can really do. My Dazzle uses maybe 2-3% at most. But yeah, the Elgato can bump up into the 30s and 40s and it's just ridiculous. But nothing I can really do about that. Uh, that's pretty much it for my software. So that's going to wrap it up for my 6,666 subscriber special, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Um, definitely been a lot more, well, not too much more active than usual, but I will be a lot more active very soon. Going to be starting up a new Let's Play as well. Uh, we're finishing up Wave Race 64. Uh, two more episodes of that. I actually have to record both of those at some point. But uh, we're going to get those done, and we're going to move on to the next game. It's going to be exciting. So uh, thank you for the support. I'll see you next time. Peace.